The story of Remnant starts with the finding of the first World Stone in 1960. The US military was unable to decipher the weird inscriptions on the first World Stone until Dr. Hosgard came along. He was able to decipher the inscription and said it was from a being called Clawbone. Clawbone wrote about the prosperity and peace that he wished to bring to the world, but was being prevented from coming to our world. Dr. Harasgard then started up the Dreamer program, where they find people with the ability to peer into another world while in a dreamlike state. This was all in an attempt for Dr. Harasgard to be able to meet Clawbone. Several wars were made in pursuit of meeting Clawbone. Dreamers peer into another world through the eyes of Guardians. Guardians were protectors of a world, from beings called the Root, as the Root wants to consume and destroy entire worlds and won't stop until there is only the Root left. Dr. Harsgard was ecstatic to hear about the Root, as he knew it was Clawbone, and Dr. Harsgard wanted to find a way to bring Clawbone to Earth. One particular dreamer named Subject 2923, also known as Clementine, disappeared while connected with their guardian. More on that later. In June 1968, Dr. Harsgard was able to make the connection with Clawbone through a dreamer and invited the root to Earth. The world fell fast as the root came through. They were unstoppable and only left few humans remaining. Now, 94 years later, the beginning of Kronos Before the Ashes begins. Listen all. The game starts with an introduction Listen from well. the tribe elder, where Tonight you're tasked with killing you, the dragon, the and your adventures start in Ward 16, where you find a world crystal. This crystal takes you to the world of the Krell, a goblin-like race. In this world, you meet a talking tree that claims it can help you find the dragon. But in exchange, you will have to kill three guardians for him. With you agreeing, he gives you a blessing placed on your arm and a dragon heart. The first guardian you have to kill is the one you're on, the Cyclops. After defeating the Cyclops, you travel through a painting to go to a world of Yesha, home of the Pan, a satyr race. You go and kill the guardian, one with many faces. After that, you get a key from the guardian and you go to a gate with a teleport behind it. And this teleporter leads you to the labyrinth. And you proceed like you did before, killing the guardian of this world too. After each time you killed the guardian, the tree transports you to Shadow World, where he congratulates you and destroys a totem representing each guardian. Then you appear before the talking tree with some differences. The tree is now bigger than before and there is a portal in front of him. He bids you to jump in and find your dragon. And so you jump in and head to Ward 17. In Ward 17 you find a dying dreamer and while investigating them they grab you. You are then transported to a shadow world, the same one as before, with a dragon there. The talking tree's voice can be heard as he basically tells you that he is Clawbone and you help him be free and now that he cannot be stopped invading any world. As a retaliation, you go and kill the dragon. Clawbone just laughs at you as you just destroyed his weak connection to Earth and now he's going to use you as a stronger connection. The character wakes up with the dreamer dead in front of them. Sneaking up behind you is a heavily root-infested Dr. Harsgard. He knocks you out and then hooks you up as the new dreamer. After a month has gone by, Remnant from the Ashes begin. Your character in Remnant from the Ashes is from the same tribe as the character of Kronos from Before the Ashes. And your task is to venture and find said main character from Kronos. You end up not at your destination, but at Ward 13, where there are some survivors hiding out. They are led by a person named Commander Ellen Ford, and they have a child there showing signs of a, being a dreamer named Wallace. He may become important later. 
Ellen suggests you look for her grandfather, who is a man named Ford. I know, confusing. The only way out is by Worldstone. You activate the Worldstone and traverse to a hideout. There you find inscriptions telling you to go find, find a woman connected to the root, simply called as the Root Mother. She helps and guides you to the labyrinth, but in exchange, you have to help her disconnect from the root. You are successful and you can find her journal nearby. Stating that the root mother is a dreamer, Ellen's grandmother and Ford's wife. You find the labyrinth and its keeper, who states that the labyrinth is falling and he's doing everything in his power to keep it at bay. As the hero of the previous game killed it, the guardian of the labyrinth and let the root in. He teleports you to the labyrinth and there you find a portal to one of the worlds visited by Ford. Welcome to Rom, an integrated wasteland thanks to the nuclear induced disaster by the leader of the Basha, human like people, named the Undying King. This was in order to stop the root by making the, the world undesirable and then eventually build a force able to protect it if the root came again. But this world is dying, and so its guardian that has been grievous wo wounded and been keeping the undying king alive. Now you may be asking, how did the root then come to Ram in the first place, if their guardian is still alive? Well, Ram's energy, that's the black loop everywhere, you will see everywhere, came from a that black hole in the sky. It is presumed by me that just like Dr. Harsgard was influenced by Clawbone, an engineer of Rom was influenced to make that black hole in the sky as a gateway for the root to enter the world without killing the Guardian first. After a while, you meet the Undying King and you have a choice. Go to a backwater wor world, kill its Guardian, and bring its heart back. Or just kill the Undying King and get the key to the world where Ford is. Choosing to help the Undying King takes you to the world of Chorus. Welcome to the swamp. Motherfucker. This world is inhabited by elves. They're all infected by beings called the Ixel. As you fight through the infected residents, you come across a person named the Ixel Queen. She is friendly. She gives you an offer. Kill the Guardian, of course, and bring her the heart so that the Ixel can become strong. You warn her about the root, and the Queen believes that they are just another race for the Ixel to consume. Even though the roots are wood and the Ixel are bugs. Either way, you damned, or is it that you give them what they want and kill their Guardian? Either way, it doesn't matter. They, Their world will be invaded by the root. Now, let's proceed to the final world of the base game once you have the key. Welcome to Yesha. This world is already in the process of dying. As again, the hero of the previous game killed this world's guardian. Also, there is a revolution going on. As the tree of eternal life is not producing fruit. This is all thanks to... Ford, and the leader of the revolution is a royal guard named Navon, who knows Ford and where he's being kept. And you proceed to go to the ziggurat of the queen, and you find there a, the cell which Ford is being kept. Now there is an interesting dialogue that can be had with one of the game's world bosses, the Ravager where he mentions that the Pan are not originally from here, and they came from somewhere else, fleeing something. So the guess is, is that the Pan are possibly a spacefaring race that was escaping the route. Or at least they travel across the continent on boats. Also, the Ravager is willing to join the route rather than fight it. So you meet Ford in his cell and discuss what your goal what is very shortly to him. Ford then realizes that the source of the root on Earth is from Ward 17, where you need to find your hero. 
you head back to War 13 and go through a mere teleport in its basement that takes you to Ward 17, where you face the hero you've been looking for as the Nightmare. You kill them, and then Ward 17 collapses and you travel back to Ward 13, stopping the Root Invasion. But in actuality, after you defeat Nightmare, the Root Presence is reduced, but not actually stopped. And to find answers, Ward sends you to Ward Prime. On your journey, you experience rats of unusual sizes, and a new being of the root that seems ethereal in nature. You enter Ward Prime, finding a tear in space, and find yourself transported to a snowy world of prism. This is where you meet Clementine. Remember her from earlier? She was able to push back the root coming through the portal you entered with some magic powers. She warns you about watch out for the shadow as it is following you, and then leaves. As you travel through Rizm, you find the residents are the same rat men you fought earlier. They are called Eriki, and they are not the only race on the planet, but they are the fastest breeding and a very hungry race. Eventually, you will meet of Agrel. They are a giant-like race. They used to live here too, but are being killed off by their Riki, and, and the Vargrel feel every death of their kind. It is presumed that he's the last of his kind. You finally meet up with Clementine, and she is with Rizm's guardian. You try convincing her to come back and help with closing the rifts, but she says no, until Guardian gets attacked by Root and you help her out. The Guardian tells her to return to her home and begrudgingly Clementine accepts, heading back to Ward Prime. She unlocks the rift, allowing you to enter the bowels of Ward Prime, where you come and contact the source of the Root, Dr. Harsgard. He has been fully corrupted by the Root, insane he has reached the pinnacle of what Root can give. You fight and kill him, like you do everything Root related. The place also collapsed, like before, and you make it out through the portal. Clementine closes the terror and says her goodbyes, as she will not want to go back to Ward 13, and maybe see you in the future. Thank you for watching this quick lore rundown of what you need to know for or run it to. If you want more detailed accounts of the story of Remnant from the Ashes and Kronos from the Ashes, you can check out other creators' videos in the description who have done a great job. See you guys later. Bye bye.